So you didn't get your hands on the SNES Classic. Let's make one. And let's make it better. So the reason I'm making this video is not to diss the SNES Classic. Um, over the weekend, there was a guy who went to our local Walmart here in town and bought every single SNES Classic they had. And told people, don't fret, you can have one for double the price. It made me mad, to say the least. Um, not because I wanted one, but because I knew people who did, and it just... It isn't right. So today, instead of showing you how to get your hands on one via eBay, I'm going to show you how to make a great alternative in case you can't get your hands on one for a little bit cheaper. So let's get started. To make this SNES Classic clone, you're gonna need a few things. A Raspberry Pi. Can be the two, can be the three, can be the Raspberry Pi Zero. Doesn't matter, you need a Raspberry Pi. Micro SD card. Bigger the size, the more amount of games. You need a flash drive. You need at least to be 8 gigabytes. I recommend 16, but this one's 8. It'll be alright. Finally, you need some kind of controller with a USB port. Um, you can actually find SNES controllers on eBay that have USB ports. Something you might want to look into. Next, plug your flash drive into your computer and look up RetroPie. Actually, the link will be in the description. Go to download. Go to the Raspberry Pi of your choice. Mine's the Raspberry Pi 2. And save the download. When that's finished, download 7-Zip. You'll need it to unzip the Raspberry Pi boot image. Just hit yes and install. Once it very quickly installs, find your RetroPie image, right click it, go up to 7-Zip, and extract here. And as you can see, it's extracting a disk image. Sorry for the shakiness. I broke my tripod. And the disk image is right down there. We need one last program. Once again, link in the description. Go to Win32 Disk Imager. Download it. And install it. When it's finished installing, open Win32 Disk Imager. Where it says Image File, click the little folder. RetroPie, open, and if that's where your SD card's plugged in, click right and click yes. Now this will take a minute. When the install is finished, simply plug in the SD card, plug your controller in, which is very hard to do one-handed, and get ready to plug it into your TV. I should have put it as a, as a disclaimer that I assume if you have a high def TV, you're going to have the HDMI cable. And I kind of assumed that you knew you'd need a micro USB cable, so I didn't put that in the budget. Anyway, power it on by plugging the micro USB in. If you, if you have two hands, God bless you. I do too, but one's holding the video camera right now. If you see the four pies, congratulations, you successfully put RetroPie on your machine. Wait for it to boot up, and wait for it to go to the main menu. It will do this, don't worry. When it's done creating swap files, you should see this. Um, I'm not going to walk through my gamepad configuration because mine's an Xbox 360 controller, and I assume you'll probably use something different. But just configure your gamepad accordingly. And we'll go from there. To get games on your Pi, first thing you want to do is plug up your flash drive and create a folder 
called Retro Paw. Then pull your flash drive out and stick it in the Raspberry Pi. Okay, make sure Retro Pi is running. And plug your flash drive in and wait for the drive to quit blinking. After it's finished blinking, simply pull it out. And go get some games. Here's where I'll lead a disclaimer. If you do not own the game, do not download it. I own the games that I'm downloading. That's the point. If you've previously owned them, eh, I guess there's a gray area. Um, but if you've never owned them, that's piracy, Bubba. So don't do it. Uh, so anyway, I can't show you where to get them, but you can Google games. Google the game the system you want and then ROMs and you can download them. It's completely free and again as long as you owned it it's completely legal. There's not that much to it. Download the games, save them to your hard drive on your computer and I'll show you what to do when your flash drive finishes doing its thing. Once you have games plug your flash drive back in and as you can see when you click on the RetroPie folder there's going to be whole new menus. Uh, go to ROMs. And this is where you put your games in their collective spots. As you can see, there's a lot more than SNES to install here. When you have the games transferred over, simply plug it back in. And once again, Wait for it to stop blinking. Now this could take 10 minutes to an hour depending on how many games you have. When it's finished, simply reboot your Pi. And there you go. As you can see, I've got a Nintendo game here. Miss Pac-Man. Something that wasn't available on the NES Classic. And it works just fine. Try to go back to the menu here. I may not have my controller supported for the menu. <clears throat> okay, I have to reboot. Sorry about that. There's a hot key you can press to go back to the main menu, and I didn't program that on my controller. But anyway, Super Nintendo, I've got Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Again, not available on the SNES Classic. And it works just perfectly. I may not be able to play this one because it'll be copyright infringement. Well, actually it might be okay. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. Oh, there we go. It's pressing the wrong button. No. Nope, stop, stop. That's copyright infringement. The music, no. God, I'm going to get a strike. But as you can see, here I am flying around. And I died. You get the point, though. It plays. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Right now, on eBay, the SNES Classic is going for $160. The Pi 3, with everything you would need, including a USB SNES controller, is $53.81. This holds 20 games. This holds thousands of games. This is not customizable, this is. In fact, you can even get an SNES case for another $25 for the Raspberry Pi. And then, what would the difference be, honestly? Ask yourself that. So anyway, if your town got gypped like mine did, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't get your chance to get your hands on the SNES Classic, maybe consider doing this. Save yourself, you know, a hundred and... 10 odd bucks. Um, I guarantee if you're doing this for a kid, your kid's going to love this better because it also plays PS1 games and 64 games, Sega games, Atari games. Like you could introduce the kid to your entire childhood instead of a fraction of it. So, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, take it easy. Thank you.